I'm Mo Flaherty. I'm Jade Anderson. And I'm Jared Knapper. And you're watching PSPN. The UIS baseball team opened up its season last weekend at Tuscola University in Tennessee. In their first game, the bats were hot and the Star Boys scored 13 runs, going on to beat the Pioneers 13-5. The team dropped game two but recovered for the third game of the series, winning in a late inning comeback. They would go on to be closely defeated in game four, splitting the series 2-2. Two two. Asher Brad finished the weekend with seven hits and four RBIs, while Bobby Barnard added five hits and Brent Vanneman had six RBIs in his first series as a Prairie Star. This past weekend, the Stars traveled to Joplin, Missouri for the MIAA GLVC crossover. The team had an impressive pitching performance in game one against Missouri Western State, limiting the Griffins to only two hits and striking out 19 batters. Colton Hale earned his first win of the season. On Sunday, UIS faced Northwest Missouri State in a game that went 11 innings. The team fell behind seven to one after two innings but the bullpen did not allow a single run in the final nine innings. The Stars would go on to edge out the Bearcats 9-7, led by Cal Youngkist with three hits and four RBIs, and Bobby Barnard also adding three hits as well. The team dropped its final game of the weekend against Missouri Southern State despite scoring eight runs. The Star Boys will be back in action this weekend for their home opener against Saginaw Valley State. Go Stars! The UIS softball team went 4-1 on opening weekend at the Alvey Early Memorial Classic in Bentonville, Arkansas. The Stars took on Missouri Western State Friday, defeating them by a score of 5-3. Peyton Long pitched a complete game and Danielle Dennis had a three-run homer to give the Stars the win. They then took down number 16, Southern Arkansas, by a 6-5 margin. Addison McClure earned the team's win in relief while Carly Shavanik led the team's offensive effort with three hits and three runs. The ladies continued their win streak by beating Northwest Missouri State 9-1. Ashley Quinzing and Taylor Zawacki each had two hits and one run. On the final day of the series, the Stars split, beating Upper Iowa 8-0, but falling to number one, UT Tyler, 7-4. This past weekend, the team traveled to nearby Milliken for a two-game series. The Stars won both by scores of 10-1 and 7-4. Kayana Dietrich picked up a win, and Carolyn Frankie had three hits and three RBIs on the day. Softball is back in action this weekend at the Blue Ridge Battle in Owensboro, Kentucky. The UAS men's basketball team went 2-2 in their past four games, falling to Truman State and Southwest Baptist, but taking down William Jewell and Rockhurst. Jack Weber headlined the Stars' win against William Jewell with 10 points, 11 boards, and 5 assists. And freshman Jacob Hanna and senior Chris Hamill helped seal the deal in the game against Rockhurst. Hanna's late bucket broke the deadlock, and Hamill helped secure the victory from the free throw line. The bench came up big against Rockhurst, scoring 36 points, and hopefully they can keep that momentum going into the final two games of the season against Missouri S&T and Drury. And finally, best of luck going forward to the team's two seniors, Chris Hamill and Jesus Castillo. Thank you for helping to protect the prairie. The UIS women's basketball team played in four games since we last reported on them, going 2-2 two and two and bringing their overall record to 15-9. They first beat William Jewell by a score of 72-57 and then took down Truman State 60-46. They won, went on to suffer a slight setback in losing to Southwest Baptist 52-51 and Ronkhurst 60-53. Some highlights from the past four games include Lauren Ladowski dropping a 30-bomb on Truman State, Malia Jackson having a 19 point and 10 rebound double double against Southwest Baptist, and the team's incredible defensive effort as they allowed just 53.7 points per game during that four game stretch. The team is having its best season in 23 years, and their 15 wins are at most in the program history in the NCAA era. And finally, since senior night has passed us, we would like to recognize the five seniors on the women's basketball team Lauren Ladowski, Carson Vance, Allie Geitzel. Olivia Travis, and Ellie Mitchell. Thank you ladies for your contributions, especially in this historic season. On February 12th and 13th, the UIS men's and women's track and field team competed at the Grand Valley State University Big Meet with four athletes hitting provisional times. On Friday, Taryn Christie ran a time of 17.06.78 in the women's 5K. Blake Jones ran a 14.27.83 in the men's 5K, and Noah McIntyre hit a time of 4.09.15 in the men's mile. 
The men's distance medley relay raced on Saturday, consisting of runners Chris Cherry, Ryan Jones, Noah McIntyre, and Blake Jones. The relay ran a time of 9.48.37, shattering the previous school record. The next Friday, the Prairie Stars raced at the Hilltop Classic at Illinois College in Jacksonville, winning two events and having nine top 10 finishes. Chris Cherry won the mile with a time of 4.13.88, and Alexa Thompson won the 5K with a time of 10.58.72. UIS's next meet will start off the team's postseason at the GLBC Championships in Indianapolis, Indiana. On Friday, February 18th, UIS men's and women's tennis team opened at Purdue Northwest. The women won seven of the nine competitions that day, leading to a 6-1 victory, and won every match from number two through number six singles. The men also won 6-1 over Purdue Northwest, winning every singles match they played. The following day, the teams played against Michigan Tech. The UIS women's team won from a score of 4-3, securing the overall win with Franca Bucco's win, among others. On the men's side, the Prairie Stars won 6-1 over Michigan Tech. On the year, the men have now won 17 of its 18 singles matches in dual play and won all three of their doubles matches on Saturday. On Sunday, the Prairie Stars women came up close but lost by a 4-3 margin to Tiffin at the regional match when the opposing team won four of the first five singles matches. Naya Mohasi won number six to lock in the score at 4-3. The U.S. men's team won over Tiffin at regionals with a score of 4-3, tied at 3-3 with the last singles match remaining. Sebastian Johnson lost the first set and won the last two, securing the Prairie Stars victory. The team will head to Springfield, Missouri next week to face Drury and Washburn. We hope you enjoyed PSPN this week. Make sure to check out all the upcoming events. We'll catch you on the next one. Go, Go Stars! Stars.